Importing data into Excel tables, Power Pivot models, or Power BI that contain states in a format different to your system settings can wreak havoc. Often, we're not aware that something is wrong until it's too late. Thankfully, it's an easy fix. Let's take a look. The problem often presents itself when the user is expecting data for a 12-month period, but they only have data for January. For example, here is the CSV file I've opened in Excel. You can see in the filter drop-down that there is data for every month. Now this data set only contains data for the first day of each month, as you can see here as I expand the months. The data is stored in this CSV file in a day, month, year, date format. However, when the data is imported to Excel, Power Pivot or Power BI using Power Query on a PC with a date format that's month, day, year, you get this result where it appears that I only have data for the first 12 days of January. And this is because Power Query assumes the date format in the CSV file is month, day, year in line with your region and it imports the data accordingly. Now if your files have data on days 13 through 31 of each month, you may also notice that the query returns a lot of errors and only imports some of the data. This is because the data for dates 13 through to 31 of each month are discarded. For example, consider the date 13th of January 2020, formatted day month year. It looks like this in the CSV file. And when Power Query on a PC with a date format month, day, year imports it, it reads it as the 1st of the 13th month, 2020. Of course, there's no 13th month, so this data ends up with errors which don't get imported to your model. So now you know what to look out for, let's look at how to fix it. In the Power Query editor, we need to remove the very first change type step. It's usually right after the source step. Now this might break the query, but don't worry, it's temporary. So I'm going to click the X to delete it. And then with my date column selected, or if you had multiple date columns, you can hold down control to select them all and then right click, change type using locale. In the change type with locale dialog box, we want to select our data type, which is date. And then the locale, is the locale of the data set. For my example, it's English Australia, but you can choose from the drop down list here. It gives you a sample of the input values, and all I need to do is click OK. So we can see the date correctly displays, and if we look at the drop down, I can see I've got 12 months worth of data, all on the first of each month. We can also check the column quality, and I can see there there's no errors, so I'm good to go. Now just keep in mind if your data also contains numeric values with say a comma separator or decimals, then you'll need to use the change type using locale technique for those columns as well. Now the last thing I need to do is set the data types for the remaining columns. These ones here are all text. We can do that by the menu. Or you can also change types using the drop down button here. So this one is a whole number. And that's it, your data's ready to close and load with no more errors. Well, I hope you found this technique useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.